If you learn these three rules, you will never drop a mark on a stupid mistake again. By far the most common mistake is students putting hyphens, commas, and a lack of spacing in the wrong places. Rule number one, you use a hyphen to separate a locant from a word. Rule number two, you use a comma to separate a locant from other locants. And rule number three, when you have two words adjacent to each other, there is no space between them. For this third rule, there are exceptions. So if you can think of any, chuck them in the comments down below. So applying all of that to this molecule down here, the alcohol means we prioritize this carbon as the lowest locant, and with a single bonded carbon, carbon chain of three, this is propan one off. Noting that between the word propan and the locant one, I have a hyphen, and between the locant one and the word ol, I have a hyphen once again. Then I have two bromines, meaning that I need to name this as a dibromo for two bromines, and locants one and three. This applies all three of our rules in one go. If we have two locants, they need to be separated by a comma. Then we have a locant connected to a word, which means we need a hyphen. And lastly, when we have a word connected to a word, we have no space here. Remember when we use hyphens, commas, and spaces, and you'll never get an organic molecule wrong again. So if you're taking module seven, organic chemistry this term, follow us at Catalyst Chemistry for more HC chemistry tips and tricks.